When you open your trunk, it does this. <laughs> All right, it's been a while, but uh, as always, this channel is dedicated to cost savings and personal finance. But this is definitely a cost saver. When you open your trunk, it does this. So yeah, it just slams down. So we're gonna replace the springs on the hatchback for 2007 Honda CRV. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel for tips and tricks like this that helps you save money through cost savings. So this channel is about personal finance and cost savings. So tools you're gonna need: you need a pair of gloves, goggles, pick. And this is also from Amazon, so I'll show you how to change this for under 25 bucks. If you're gonna go to a garage or something, it probably costs you about 180 to 200 bucks. Um, I flash it across the screen. That's what I found on Google. You're gonna need um, two by four, which is about six feet tall. Yeah. So yeah, gloves, goggles, pick, and a lift hatch for your specific car. Uh, specifically, we're working on a 2007 Honda CRV, uh, EXL, leather, moonroof, and navigation. So, kind of old, 2007, but we're going to try to fix this because this is actually dangerous. Yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so we're going to support our um, hatch with a 2x4 so that it doesn't fall on us and hit us in a noggin with a concussion of some sort. So where I strictly place the 2x4 is where the handle is, that way it has zero chance of slipping out. So that way, I have some safety measures. So to take this out, there's only two clips that's holding it. One here, we're going to use a pick to pull that out. Another clip here. Pull that clip out with a pick and pop that right out. We'll take it out because this is... Um, Spring loaded, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this just pops right out. There's nubbies that uh, are here, one nubby here, another nubby here. Right down here. Okay, so we'll do that. Try to keep in mind this is the right side and this is facing that way. I don't know if the replacement is the same, so we'll soon find out. So we'll go pick here, we're gonna take this off. Clamp thingamajiggy. That's a real technical term. Clamp thingamajiggy. Pop that off. There it is. Okay, this should be nice and loose. Okay, we're gonna take this off right here. Get in here and just pull out the pick. Huh. All right. One second. Let's get the first one. Right there. So what we did was take this off. Put a flat hand and leverage it up. There it is. So once the bottom's out, pro tip is take the bottom out first so that way you have leverage. We're gonna be mucking around up here. So it's basically just a ball of socket. Kind of this little part. This little part kind of clamps everything in place. But basically I know I'm probably speaking too much in medical terms, but it would be like your, your bone sock up your femur going to your hip or your pelvis bone. So that's the way this works. So there's a little socket there and it pops in a little ball and it keeps it in with this little ball here. See it there? Again, you see it here. A little ball. It kind of pops into that little ball. 
and that little clamp kind of holds everything in. Now, the replacement, I'll show you the numbers. It's not gonna matter the numbers, because this is from different um, manufacturers, so it could maybe be different. I just bought the cheapest one they had on Amazon. So, I don't think it matters it's left or right. Let's take a look. You can always twist it to make it match. Yeah, I don't think it matters much because the way it's set up is this hole has to point inward for that side. And this part down here has to point forward. So you get the idea. Pop it back in. Oh, actually, uh, I apologize. It actually slides forward, not backwards. So you want to slide it forward. So watch this. Pick it in here, and then we'll slide it forward. There it is. See how it's like that? You don't want to lose it all the way, so you want to kind of keep it there, just like that. Same goes here, you want to slide it forward. back so I said I'm gonna do the top and the bottom. Top in first. There it is. Bottom in. Now if this is off alignment just push it up a little bit. This is oh lift the trunk up. You see in a second. It's off alignment by a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's off. So I just, what I'm gonna do is I lift the gate up. Still not powerful enough because you need the other arm to uh, hold it up. And go out to the other side. Same exact thing. So we're gonna take the bottom off first so we have some leverage and we're not gonna break anything. Right, so then Take the pick here, we're gonna use our flathead and leverage it up. We're gonna take that clip off first and then we're gonna leverage it up. There it is. Easy peasy. This one should come out easily since the, the tension is off this one. That. And this should come out right out. Same thing, use a pick, clip off there. Ta-da! Let's put the next one on. No call, job done. The other one. Like I said, I don't think it really matters like left or right on these. This one I ordered, I showed you earlier. You know, some are picky. I don't think these are. Just pop them just like so. So let's see the lines up. That goes there. This goes to the bottom. You may have to lift it up. It's just like the last time, okay? Here we go. Let's pop the top in. There it is, you can hear a click already. Here. So this one doesn't line up, so we're gonna twist it by hand. You need a plier. You to get yourself a pair of pliers, twist it through. Don't ever grab this part and twist it. You'll ruin the uh, cylinder and it's not gonna go in this um, sealed uh, container is going to not be as uh, smooth when you open up the hatch. So we use this pile which is going to twist it so this lines up. And this is what I mean. So it's off alignment. Yeah, right there. See how that's almost twisted a little bit that way so it's not flush with this. See the little angle. I can see with that camera angle. There. And then the same thing when I hold up the hatch. Well, I try to line this up. It's off a 
off alignment to see it. It doesn't line up. The hole is over here, right where the bracket is. So I have to lift it up a little bit. So let's uh, twist it into place and then we'll lift up the hatch and that should be done. See if we can get you a good angle here, guys. Let me zoom in. Yeah. So we're gonna lift the hatch up and then pop it in. Check out the finished product. So obviously nothing is being held up now. The door, the two by four by six is uh, on the floor right now. So this is being held up on the phone. We're gonna close it, reopen it. Not too shabby. All right, if you like this kind of content where I talk about personal finance and cost saving, this is a definitely a cost saver. This would have been uh, about 200 bucks to have the garage do it for you. We bought the parts from Amazon, the uh, hatch uh, springs, which is here. That's the old one. And that was 25 bucks. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. And thank you everybody for been watching my videos and subscribing. Well, I think I'm uh, probably about 500 subscribers by now. So, good job, guys. I'll see you in the next one.